How to export the results of a Lyme survey to Excel. Hi, my name is Paul Bostorf. I am an authorized Lyme survey partner and support you in the creation and evaluation of your online surveys. Okay, we now have a small survey here as an example. Switch from the structure to the setting and now want to export the answers. To do this, we go to the answers item here on the left in the survey menu and can then select how the whole thing should be exported up here. I go to the item export answers here and then I can choose there which file type should be chosen for the export and there I now select Microsoft Excel. Then I can make a few settings here now. The first is the completion status, whether I want to export all the answers or just the full or the incomplete response sets. Export language German, then I can define the area here. I only have one answer in the data set here. That's why it says from 1 to 1. You can restrict this here accordingly if you don't want to export all data, i.e. all answers. Then you can define here with regard to the answers whether the answer codes, for example 1, 2, 3, 4, if you have numerically coded them, should be exported or the complete answers, i.e. what was offered there as an answer option in the LIMESURVEY. Then there's this converting here. This refers exclusively to multiple answer questions, i.e. if you have questions where the respondents can put several crosses. Then you can say here how this should be coded if a check mark has been set. This stands for yes. Here, for example, that it is then encoded with a 1. And if no check mark has been set, here for no, you can then code it with 2, for example. So, then you can define up here how the questions should be exported. Either just the question code, something like Q1, Q2 and so on, an abbreviated question text or the full question text. For the rest of the things, you can usually leave the default settings as they are. You can then select below which columns, i.e. which variables should be exported. These are a few system generated variables and here are the two variables that I had in there in the survey. Okay, here you have to make sure that you don't accidentally click on one of these variables here, then only this one variable would be exported. That's why I'm now marking everything here again by pressing shift once on the keyboard and then holding and then marking everything here again with it. So, then we can export the whole thing. This is what the whole thing looks like. Up here, we have the system generated variables. This is the reply ID, then here is the date when the reply was sent. Please don't be surprised, it just always says 1980 if these are anonymous surveys, i.e. where no date stamp or the like was collected. The last page is the page to which the respondent has come. In this case, here is page 1, because now the survey only had one page. But if you now have 10 survey sites, for example, if you can see where the interviewee has come here, the language, then here is a random starting value. This is only relevant if you have randomization in your survey. Then you need such a starting value for the generation of the random number here. Then come the actual questions that I had in the survey here. Those were just two questions here. Here I always had the complete question text in it. That's why you see this whole text here. As you have seen, this could also be changed so that, for example, there is only the code, something like Q1, Q2 and so on. So, that's it for exporting the survey results to Excel. I'll briefly show the procedure again. We went here via the setting and then in the survey menu on the answers. And there in the answers you can then select here via export how the whole thing should be exported. We chose Excel here and then you can adjust the setting as you like if you want. If you have any questions or need support in creating or evaluating your survey, please feel free to contact me. My website is linked below.